Well, my name is Maliva Epperson Langle. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm a freelance makeup artist. I've been working in the film and television industry for 11 years now, actually going on 12. And I've been working as, with the brand Motives by Lauren Reidinger for nearly the same amount of time. I use it both professionally and personally. So I'm really, really excited to talk to you about that tonight. I'm from a small town called Blandon, Pennsylvania. That's where I currently reside with my husband and my dog. And I actually have a really great pleasure oh, dropping my papers, <laughs> of introducing one of my really dear friends. She's an incredible makeup artist and nail salon owner. She's also a mom of two from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And she was also a bridesmaid in my wedding. So it is so much fun to have Janine Rollinson Amato with us. Hello, everybody. How are you all? Um, Maleva introduced me. I'm Janine Amato. Um, I've been with the company about, I think, about eight years now. Right? Wow, Eight, nine yeah. years. It, I, time goes so fast, right? Um, I own a nail salon. Um, originally, I started, I owned a nail sal salon in a mall. So busy doing 80 to 90 hours a week, ridiculous hours. Um, and as Maleva mentions, I, I do have children and they were very small at the time and I just would not get into time with my family. Um, so I bumped into, well, actually, Maleva came to my store and she got me into motives, fell in love with the product, and then that's the end of the story. I've been working with it ever since. Um, I sold the salon, and now I kind of do what I want and do my own hours thanks to motives. Um, and I absolutely love it. So I'm really pleased to be here tonight with you all. Um, my accent is from England, too. I'm actually from Manchester, England, a small little town called Barn Oldswick. Um, and we do have a team of girls over in the UK that rock out motives as well. Um, I moved to... Uh, Oh, wow. I moved like 13 years ago over here. I'm getting old. So, wow. Yeah. So, if so you this is actually an Americanized English accent. Uh, yeah, it's like a little mixture. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go in and out. And that's one of the best things about being able to build this brand and talk about our products is you get to meet some of the most amazing people. And so thank you all so much for hopping on. It's so fun being able to do this, especially with one of my bestest friends. No. Um, so let's rock it out. So tonight, this is how, a little bit of how it's going to go. Uh, we're going to be introducing the top 10 beauty products that every woman should have in their makeup arsenal. And as I talk about them, Janine's actually going to hold them up and you're going to get to see her apply them. Um, and then, like I said, feel free to ask your questions in the Q&A thread. We'll be keeping up with that as we go along. And then towards the end here, we'll have some time to be able to answer any questions that you do have. And this will also be recorded, so you'll be able to share it as well. And welcome to the guests. So first off, I want to say that if you were invited by someone on this call, you might have received something called a Beauty Basics survey. It looks a little like this. If you didn't, that's completely okay. Feel free to ask the person that invited you for one of these so you can fill it out. That way we can help you kind of match you to products and figure out what solutions would be best for you so we can know how best to guide you. It's called our Beauty Basics Survey, and you can use that to take notes on. Or if you don't have something like that, just grab a piece of paper and a pen and feel free to take notes as we go, and that way you know um, what products are best based on the solutions that you're looking for. All right, Love it. so let's get started. So I'm just gonna tell you first because I did not want to come on a live video and scare you with my quarantine face and hair. So I actually did my hair for you guys. So you're welcome. But anyway, I do have my custom blend on tonight. I, I applied it quickly before we hopped on just to save a little bit of time. Uh, custom blend is amazing. Um, it's custom blended just specifically for your skin and type and tone. Um, so if you can get a hold of this, you should. Um, whoever invited you onto the webinar, ask them more about custom blend because you're going to fall in love. Um, once you do custom blend, you never go back. It's your skin in a bottle. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so you can find out more if you ask the person who invited you today. Is that good enough? Is that quick? Absolutely. Ooh. Yes. Yes. I know. I felt I was like, Janine always looks good. So hi, at least had to like put something you on. You always look, look good too. All right. Real quick. I do want to talk to you all about the brand behind Motives Cosmetics and the global product brokerage company behind us because it's something that's really special and what makes our brand really stand out in the field with so many different cosmetics lines. So Motives Cosmetics is one division of an, of an entire global product brokerage company called Shop.com powered by Market America. It's based in Greensboro, North Carolina and it started in 1992. It's currently celebrating almost 29 years of success, which is really incredible. Um, we are a product broker 
beverage and internet marketing company. So that means we tailor our products to what people really want and we can move with the trends in the marketplace. I like to tell people our products are always backed by science and backed by trends, not fads. We want to make sure people are spending their money in what they really want. And then we get to force out manufacturers that are making the best of the best quality products and rebrand them with exclusive skincare formulas under motives by Lauren Writing Era. So when I tell people you can stake your reputation on a brand, that's what's so powerful is that product brokerage concept behind what we do. So our today's focus is on Motives by Lauren Reidinger, and it's one of the hottest and fastest growing cosmetics lines on Instagram currently. We're super customizable, and we have products for all skin tones and all skin types, which I think is really important. We source out the best of the best products as a product broker, like I talked about, for more than a dozen different manufacturers, so that way we can offer the best high-quality ingredients at affordable prices. Our products are all hypoallergenic, some of them are gluten-free, and they're also cruelty-free. Okay, so now let's talk about the top 10 that we're going to use. And feel free, if you have any of these products on you, play along with us because, hey, why not? Okay, so the top 10 products we're going to be using are the Complexion Perfection Face Primer, yep. the Insta Smooth. My favorite. Yes. I know what I need this. <laughs> the Eye Base. I have it open already because I'm just like ready to roll. I know, I love this. You have our Vanna White over here. Uh, we're going to be using our pressed bronzer in Miami Glow, which is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. We have the Lux Precision Eyeliner, which we'll be showcasing in Jet Black. We have our Motives Fiber Lush Mascara, which is one of our newer fiber mascaras, and we're both really excited to talk about that one when we get to it. We'll be talking about our Essential Brow Kit, our Lala Mineral Lip Shine from the Lala Collection in Celeb. Our Foundation Brush, which is a really powerful and important tool. And then finally, our 10 Years Younger Makeup Setting Spray, which no one ever leaves my chair, and I'm sure Janine can say the exact same no, thing, never. without this on their face. I'm like, I, I want to lack this on you. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's important. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to start with our face primer. So think okay. about the surface of your skin like an orange. We want to turn that orange into an apple. An orange has all of those divots and those grooves, whereas an apple has a really smooth surface. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking to do with the face primer. Um, it helps you obtain a flawless and more youthful appearance. It helps your makeup glide on smoothly and also helps it last longer throughout the day, which is really important. Mm -hmm. It creates a barrier. Yeah, if you can even see the difference on the hand, it almost looks a little bit more yeah. glowing. I already have it on my face, so I'm putting it on my hands to show you guys. That's perfect. And can you talk a little bit about like the consistency? How does it feel, Janine? It's like a really silky smooth, almost like a gel. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's really soothing to put on your face, actually. And you can almost, you can feel how smooth it makes your skin. So if you are a little drier in, with your skin on your face, even with moisturizing, some people just have that dry skin, it's really going to smooth out and it's really going to give you a smoother application when you apply your foundation, uh, which is super important, right? When you're applying your foundation, you want it to look natural. You don't want to see the, the dryness. So I love that about it. And I actually wear this even when I'm not um, wearing foundation as well um, to protect Absolutely. my skin, you know, from the chemicals and things that we go out every day and, and experience, you know, we don't even know it's there. So mm -hmm. I absolutely love that you said that. Cause I was actually just going to bring up, that's a perfect way to, to spin into that. It mm -hmm. creates a barrier between mm -hmm. your skin and your foundation, but exactly. you don't have to wear it with the foundation. It actually creates a physical barrier protecting mm -hmm. your skin from the outside world. And I like to talk about, do you ever wear like sunglasses or if anybody wears glasses and sometimes throughout the day you get all those little particles that some yeah. glasses? Well, that actually yep. spills into your pores and can cause aging and damage if we don't have a physical barrier protecting our skin. So makeup really can be an extension of your skincare and help protect your skin when you're using a good skincare quality product. So that's what's really great about this one. And just like Janine talked about, it helps even out the skin tone. 
So if you have any issues with your makeup lasting, with it gliding on smoothly, with still seeing some imperfections even after you put your face primer on, you're gonna wanna mark this off and you'll want yeah. to get it from the person that invited you. Um, I will say that all of these products are also going to be available if you happen to kind of trip upon us and you don't have someone that invited you, all of these will be available in a link on the Motives by Lauren Reibinger Facebook page. But please be sure to get back with the person that invited you so they can get you squared away with these products. Okay, so next let's talk Insta Smooth, which oh, is one of lovely. the favorites. Oh, I have so I like to say, wiped out my shirt. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I put it on ready. I'm trying to be organized. Well, it's, at least it's like a little like transparent, right? So you can't really see it. <laughs> Okay, so our Insta Smooth, it has a little bit of a tint to it, but it still goes on pretty transparent and so translucent, transparent, whatever, whichever one means you can't I really love see it on this. this I love. <laughs> I'm like taking myself back to middle school, like grammar class right now. Um, yeah, so she has it a little bit on her skin, and I like to think of it like this. Okay, so before you paint a wall, you're going to prime it first, right? Then before you paint it, you're going to spackle the cracks. This is Crack Speckle. I really <laughs> love our Insta Smooth product. So Janine's demonstrating it. What it does is it fills fine lines and wrinkles, just mm -hmm. like Speckling does for the wall. And it makes a visible difference immediately for both men and women. I actually like to use this a lot when I'm on mm -hmm. set for men. It's really great for evening out redness, minimizing the appearance of pores. Everybody's going crazy on the chat thread right now about Insta Smooth. It is a Yeah, because it's amazing. If you've sure. used it, you know, right? You know the secret. Uh -huh. um, and that, again, it feels really silky and smooth. It does have like a little um, of a not too thick, but a little thicker than what the um, the other primer we showed you was. Mm -hmm. um, and what I, I always I always put the regular primer on that we sh we demoed just now, or, or on my whole face. But then around my eyes and right here, I have a few creases now and in my like forehead. I'm getting old, ladies. We all it happens to us all. And I like to just press it and tap it in. I don't like to rub it in. I just you've got to be very gentle around your eyes too. So you want to just tap it in to where you see any fine lines or wrinkles, um, mm -hmm. you know, and it and really makes it done before foundation. It, sorry. Yeah, no, no, so no. before you put your foundation on, it's gonna help that your makeup not set into those fine lines and wrinkles. And if you have, you know, a lot of pores that are visible, it's also gonna help blemish those pores so that your foundation just lays on top and it doesn't sink in so that it makes them appear more visible. Sometimes we do our makeup and, you, and it actually shows them pores off more and we want to hide them, right? So mm -hmm. this definitely helps with that. Yeah, it's incredible. And you can also mm -hmm. use it as a corrector afterwards. So you can also yeah. put your foundation spot treat with it too. It's really a multi-purpose. Mm -hmm. I like to also mix it in with concealer sometimes to just help with the way it applies mm -hmm. underneath mm -hmm. that really sensitive area. Um, it also has a lot of antioxidants to promote healthy skin. So that's uh -huh. a Insta Smooth. And it's like a ridiculous price point. It's super inexpensive and lasts so long. Like you use just a tiny mm -hmm. little bit, right? Actually, yeah. less is best. You, you want to use a little amount. Use a little amount to start. And then if you feel you need to add more, you know, add a little bit more. But you really do only need a little, little bit. A little goes a long way. Absolutely. And the other thing I want to say, she talked about tapping it in. You can do that way, especially underneath the eyes. I like that. If you are going to um, apply it with like a brush and rub it in, just go perpendicular to the line you're trying to um, decrease. So for example, yeah. if it's a forehead line, I like to move it up and down per perpendicular to that line, hold it in place for like just a couple seconds and then let go. So the same thing around the crow's feet, the laugh lines. If you're trying to conceal redness or pores, then I can do a little bit of a circular motion because pores are circular to yeah. minimize the appearance of those. And you can see it, can't you, Janine? Like as oh you're doing God, it, it, yeah, you it's, it's it. amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really Incredible is. Product. Absolutely. Okay, we ready to move on? So if you yeah. have problems with any of those things, redness, kind of still seeing your pores, um, need something that has just a little bit of a tint to it, the Instant Smooth is going to be great. I did see a question, uh, I believe, on if you can use both or one or the other, and both is correct. You can use them both on top of each other, or you can use one or the other depending. I usually use Insta Smooth more as a spot treat than an all-over face primer, but that's just me. 
Um, Jackson's okay. saying she uses it on all the men. I just sent her a comment. Yes. Yeah. Seriously. All of the guys. She with, um, on film and TV, so she likes to use that on all the men. She says it's it's a must. Perfect. And these answers are two. Okay. So keep those questions coming, everyone, as you're participating. Oh, here's the chat thread. I knew there was another <laughs> a chat thread. There is? Yes, there's the Q&A and then there's the chat thread. Uh. Yes, agree, Gina. I um, have primer in my custom blend, but I still use the primer as well. Absolutely, because I feel like the primer in your custom blend is more for the way the product applies on the skin, whereas the face primer, the, the perfection one that Janine held up to the skin is more for your skin, if that makes sense. All right, let me, I'm just kind of scrolling through here real quick. Okay, excellent. And thank you so much. I know we have a bunch of modus trainers on here, so feel free to kind of interact and, and help people out as we go through here as well. We appreciate it. It's like a tribe here. A village. It takes a village. I love it. Right? Okay, let's move on to eye base. Eye base. Eye is so super important. So let's talk a little bit about it quickly. Um, just a little bit goes a long way. I like to say if you can see it, it's almost too much. So you'll see Dean applying it now. Um, you want to use an eye primer brush. You can, if you want to use, like if it's just your product and you're not using on other ones, you can tap it in with your finger. The only reason I don't use fingers so much for the eye base is we can have oils on our fingertips. And if you have oily eyelids, that can just mess with the integrity of how long the product lasts. Mm -hmm. So like Jane, I like using a concealer brush or some kind of small um, headed brush to apply this product. You can um, dab it into any eyeshadow too if you just kind of want to see the difference put a stripe of eyeshadow on your skin and then put eye that's base what I'm gonna do now and then shadow yeah that's perfect and then shadow on top you're gonna see the difference in the pop of color so think about everybody's skin tone is unique everybody has different skin tone even though janine and i are on like the fair to medium side the same color is going to look different on both of our eyelids unless we're wearing an eye base mm -hmm. see the difference there yep it, makes the color pop. It's the same color as it is in the palette, but it also helps it stay longer. So what it does is it neutralizes unwanted discoloration in the eyelid. It helps minimize oils. It holds eyeshadow better and makes it last longer. So you're not dealing with the fallout. Um, sometimes shadow can crease, it can fall underneath the eyes. You don't have to worry about any of that when you're using an eye. So if you deal with any of those issues, the product doesn't look the same color in the palette as it does on your eye. If your eyelids are caking or creasing or you have fallout throughout the day, an eye base is what you're going to want to add to your list. It'll also help that shadow look true to color. And so we can watch Janine use her Boss Babe palette. Very I fitting. know, I love this palette. And I, I love all the palettes. I'm excited for the new one to come out. I'm really excited. So we have so many products you all launching like I love these top 10 and these are kind of like the creme de la creme of the de la creme of our collection and how popular and universal and best selling they are but we have some amazing new products that are launching this week this month into next month so you all want to be checking those out as well I'm really excited I'm using a blender brush guys too if you're wondering what brush I'm using Perfect. Oh, Ivy and said she was using too little. much. It makes a big difference because if you use too much, you might experience some of the creasing, especially for more oily eyelided gals like myself. Mm -hmm. Really best. And you might not get it to last as long too when you put too much on. It kind of mm -hmm. like slides away almost. So you really want to um, blend it in so that you can hardly tell you've got it on. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about how it feels, Janine. How does that product feel? It feels um. It feels really light, very, very light um, and smooth again. Um, I don't know how to explain the texture though. Is it like the Insta, it's like if the Insta smooth were in cream? Yeah, cream, but it's right? obviously a little bit more, I wouldn't say dry, but it's a little bit more, well, it's a little drier than the Insta smooth. Um, almost talky, uh, I'd say. Like, I don't, is that, would that be wrong to say talky? No. Almost like a, I don't know. That's that's a hard it's one. It's kind of like a satin powdery finish. Yeah, sometimes people yeah. People worry about like gels feeling not creamy words. or too creamy. No, it does. It has kind of like a powdery yeah. finish to it. Yeah, it definitely does. 
And you can wear this without eyeshadow too. Sometimes if I just want to look awake or a little bit brighter, I'll put this on and then I'll set the cream because whenever you use a cream, you do want to set it with a powder. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'll just set it with like my face powder if I just want to look kind of a little bit more awake and out the door. And one of the questions was, how long do you wait till you, till you use each product? You can go ahead straight away. Once you know that you have it blended and that you can hardly see it, you know you have the right amount, you can go right ahead to your next step and apply your shadow. Mm -hmm. Especially the eye base, because if you let mm -hmm. it set a little too long, it can crease. So yep. what I have heard you do is just blend that crease out and then apply your shadow, because we don't want to be setting any creases. Perfect. Okay. So next we have pressed bronzer. You want to pull okay. out your Miami Glow? Yeah. Okay. This product is phenomenal. We have a few different bronzers and a new one, but this is my go-to. Um, I like it because it's a very neutral bronzer a lot of yeah uh, women and it, has from like, it has like a shimmer to it I love it yeah I feel like a lot of women shy away from bronzer because sometimes it looks too orange or too warm and they're scared Absolutely. of like looking <laughs> and so this one is very very neutral it's great on so many different skin tones on medium to fair skin tone it's great as a bronzer but on women with more deep skin tones it's really pretty as a warm highlighter so that's something to think about as well. It is a universal product. And just like mm -hmm. you talked about, that little shimmer in it has light reflecting qualities in it. So a lot of our products, even though they have a shimmer, they're not glittery, but that little bit of shimmer is, has light reflecting qualities, reflecting light away from imperfections and fine lines. Absolutely. Um, so um, it helps with a sun-kissed look for any skin type. It's easy to apply and it's very buildable, so don't be scared of this product. And it adds a nice, natural, healthy glow for flawless looking skin. So Janine's starting to demonstrate. Do you want to talk about where you apply bronzer? Yeah, so I like to do like a backwards number three. And I, I don't have my, um, I usually use a, a, a different brush, but I don't have it with me. I don't know why. It must be in my studio. <laughs> So I'm just going to use my regular powder brush for now. Um, so I use a backwards number three. So I kind of lightly dab and then I pop it this way like this. So you want to kind of like, so it's almost like under your cheek here. And then I like to sometimes put a little bit on my nose here, just very lightly. I like to think about where the sun hits my face. I don't want to just do it all over and look yeah. like I'm completely orange. That makes sense. No, that's smart. I love that because the way the sun would naturally mm -hmm. hit your skin, think about those kind of Good. high point areas, the temple, like she talked about, the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the chin, those are all great spots where that sun would naturally kiss. So if you want that natural sun kissed skin, Miami mm -hmm. Glow is definitely one that you're going to want to walk away with. Um, also, yes, Jax pointed out she loves the Hampton Socialite. That one's a really pretty color too. It's more of a matte bronzer. That one too. So you do have several different um, choices mm -hmm. when it comes to the finish of your bronzers. Yeah, for especially sure. if you're not into like a shimmer. Uh, some women just like the matte. They don't like the shimmer. So it's great that you have that. You can choose what you like. Mm -hmm. Is this one a go-to go to for you for bridal? Depending on the bride. Yeah, I mean, I, I would usually, but with the Hampton... I do because I do highlight too. Sometimes I like to use a Hampton for the matte because then I use the the shimmer powders for our highlight, and then I feel like it's not as much shimmer. So it just yeah. depends on the bride because some brides are like, "Give me all the shimmer you can give me," and then some like to play it down a little bit. So it, it does. It's just preference of my bride, and I like to, you know, when I sit down with a bride, I do like to find out what she likes and her preferences before I, you know, kind of think, oh, I'm just going to use this or I'm just going to use that, you know. And that's the best thing about the product. We have something for everybody. Absolutely. And that's the beauty of being a broker. If you like shimmer, wonderful. We have that. If you don't, wonderful. We have that. When it comes to eyeliners, which we'll be talking about next, do you like a liquid? Do you like a pencil? Do you like a cream product? Do you like mm -hmm. a gel? We have it all. So for us, helping match people to product is really incredible because we don't have to match what we think someone should use. We can find a fit based on what they're comfortable with and what they're confident using. Um, okay, so let's move on to our Lux Precision Eyeliner. This one's incredible. Um, so what it does is it has a really easy application because it has a felt tip. So I know a lot of women shy away from liquid because it can be kind of a little scary trying to think of like one swoop of a line. So you should just drew it on the back of her hand here. Like so one you, can, so you can get different um, 
thickness is as well. That's a great point because you have that comes to a really nice fine tip, mm -hmm. but you can make it as thin or as thick of a line as you want. But it also feels like even though it's liquid kind of drawing on with a pencil or a marker, so you feel like a little more confident and comfortable creating that look with this product. It also has some really amazing wear. So as she applies it, we're going to let that color set on the back of her hands. And then I'm going to actually have her see if she can smudge it. Because unless you wear, have had like some kind of hand lotion on or um, depending on the primer, it can stay there really nicely. So this is a super water resistant eyeliner. I'm gonna let her apply it here. See how easily she kind of has it gliding on. And I think a lot of times women um, shy away from products because they're scared they have to do the line in like one swoop. You don't have to do the eyeliner in one solid connection. She's just doing little bits as a at a time and kind of connecting the dots, if you will. And it creates that nice, smooth application. So this Lux position, you put it on, let it set, rub that away. Like, not that I advocate for sleeping in your makeup, but you will wake up the next morning. I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> With eyeliner on. Isn't that awesome? Incredible. Did not even move. And what? the best thing, when I first saw this demoed, when I first like saw this product being demoed, I'm like, okay, so how the heck do you get that off? If it can <laughs> last like that and you're rubbing, how the heck am I going to get it off my eye? And I'm very conscious about my skin and taking care of it. So I don't want to be scrubbing and pulling at my eye area. And it actually comes off amazingly. We are wipes or um, cleanser. It really comes off easy. I was like shocked. Because that was the first thing I thought, like, how am I going to get this off my eyes? Yeah, absolutely. Our micellar cleanser or the water or the um, makeup wipes. I love mm -hmm. our makeup. The micellar, yeah, that's nice too. The micellar is really smooth and when you take it talk off. Talk about, like, the way it makes your skin feel. Like, use the wipes on the skin and then you're like, wow, my skin feels really amazing yeah. right now at the end of the night. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Right. Yeah, it's, ama it's an amazing product. I love it. And it, this is guaranteed to last. I mean... You don't go to bed with your makeup on. You always uh -huh. take it off. But if you accidentally do, it will be there in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's complimenting you on how fast you did that eyeliner. <laughs> oh, lots of practice, ladies. Lots of practice. That's all. Yes, the Motives Eye Makeup room. Remover would work perfectly as well. The micellar, yep. absolutely. Um, yep. Jack talked about, yeah, she's a professional and there's no way she can do eyeliner in just one swoop. So... Give yourself some grace, ladies. You don't yep. have to do it in one fell swoop. And people are loving how it doesn't move. All right. Perfect. Okay. We're going to keep moving along here. So next is the Essential Brow Kit. Mm -hmm. Our Essential Brow Kit is really nice because it has two shades of powder and it has a wax in there. Now, a lot of people like powders or pencils, which is great, but some people do like more of a, like a dip brow of like a gel brow. And so what you can do is you can actually take a little bit of the wax and whichever powder or mix the powders into that wax. And now you have that gel like consistently. So it is a really versatile product, which I love. So it is softer, the powders for more natural looking brows. It does have two colors, which you can mix together. Um, it has an angled brush in it as well, so it's a complete compact, and it's really easy to use, so it helps make the strokes very natural. It come, can come to like a really, really thin tip, that brush, which I really like. Is that the one you're using? Yep. I, I can you show it, it off for us? Yeah, I did. I put it like this. Oh, awesome. Thank you. And then the wax in it, think about it kind of like hairspray for the brow, so it helps keep the hair in place all day. So I know people that use it before or use it afterwards. So it's completely your choice. But how pretty is that? Supernatural. It just added a little bit of depth. And then she's taking a spoolie just to kind of put all the hairs back in place. But I really love this powder and I use it on almost everyone. So it is a really versatile product. Yes, absolutely. I'm one, with, I'm one without. So I'm gonna do my other one. And a lot of my clients, um, it's really hard to see. I got to use my mirror to see because in the in the video it's hard. Um, a lot Can you of my just clients, a little bit closer then once you're done. Yeah. Perfect. So I kind of just do little strokes. 
I do the top first to line my brow like the shape and then I kind of lightly do the top and then I kind of just fill in any that needs filling in any bold spots or like skin that's showing and then right at the edge here you don't want to do it too dark you want to leave it kind of neutrally kind of blend it in um you can use a um a comb or you can use your spoolie as well i just like to blend it a little so it's a little lighter coming in yeah yeah that's really nice um i, I love this especially when you're learning and eyebrows can be very um, scary to do. Um, I feel like you can't go wrong with this. And even if you do make a mistake, it's so much easier to fix rather than a, a drawn on pencil. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like it's not as harsh, it's a lot more natural. Um, so when you're, be, when you're learning makeup and you're learning to do your own makeup or you're you know, working on clients, um, it's definitely uh, more forgiving when doing eyebrows, if that Absolutely. makes sense. And there was a question about when do you use the wax? Do you want to take I that? I like the wax down too first, um, Jacqueline too. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it kind of helps make sure all the hairs mm -hmm. are going the right direction and give something for the powder to cling to. That can also be used on men as well. And can I tell you a secret? I don't tell anyone. So yeah. since nobody can go to the hairdressers or anything like that, I also have been using my eyebrow kit to color in my grays. <laughs> it works so good. Like if you have a few grays at the front when you put your hair in, if you just kind of put the wax in with the, I know it's crazy, but it's a little trick. I love that. that. It works. Idea. Or like if I've got my hair appointment and my grays are showing through, not that I have grays, I'm just saying if they were showing through, um, <laughs> that's what you do. Mm -hmm. Obviously if you're that's light, you'd use the lighter color. And then if you're obviously darker hair, you'd use the brown. It is. It's like a perfect, pretty, like warm brown, right? Look, I'll show you. Look at my grays there. Watch. So yes, you can use these right colors are amazing. You can just use them for whatever you think. It's getting me through quarantine right now. It's been a long time. So you talk about using that for your grays. I actually use that color. This is so silly, but I am so <laughs> jealous of like a smattering of face freckles. And so I use the eyebrow brown to put freckles on my face. Now I don't feel as silly doing my gray. <laughs> I do. I just like, and I don't like usually go out in public with it, but if I want to do a makeup look and just have a really pretty like smattering of freckles, I'll use Why that not? with just the tip of the angled brush and just mm -hmm. put little freckles on my face. <laughs> so there, ladies, you can see more versatility out of the products. They're not always just for what they should be for. Mm. This quarantine got my brain going, guys. <laughs> it's great, though. And that's so fun if you tell, like, your customers or if you're a guest on this call, knowing that products are so multi-purpose, multi-use yeah. is more fun and it gets you more bang for your buck. So that's a exactly. really great thing to share. Use our testimonies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Use Janine's for a graze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. I'm just checking the questions here. Will it work on thin eyebrows? You want to take that one, Janine? Absolutely, yeah. It can work on thin eyebrows. Um, again, I always start with less and then build. It's a buildable product. Um, and it, you know, as long as you've got the correct shade for your skin tone and your hair coloring, you should be fine doing that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, then there's another, and there's another question going a little bit back, um, but we have one from Yan Yan Wen asking me when sometimes she uses the eye base, and then applies her eyeshadows by the afternoon, it can have a little bit of a line in that crease. Is it because she applied either too little or too much? I want to say usually it's because we apply a little too much. Like I said, if you see it, you've almost put too much on. Yeah. There is another product come summertime that I do really like to use. We have some cream eyeshadows, one specifically called brown sugar. Mm. I like using that as a base as well because it has some really great staying power, either underneath powder or without. So that's another thought too, if you want mm -hmm. to try a little bit less of the eye base and see how that carries you through. The other thing I like to do is I like to put my eye base on and then I set it with a light matte shade. Um, and a lot of times that will help then adding powder on top just gives a little extra staying power, especially for women with oilier eyelids. That yeah. really helps. So maybe also try applying just really a light, light amount 
and then yeah. set it right away with a powder, like a face powder or a light eyeshadow, and then do your eye look and see how that lasts you. There's also yeah. another product about, we're going to be talking about in a little bit too that, that could help you. Cool. Are we, are we ready? Yeah, what's we'll up next? All right, let's see, chat thread. Oh my gosh, the chat thread's blowing up. This is awesome. Oh, Jack Stock's brown sugar is her jam. Ivy says, Janine, your nails are on point. I didn't do my nails, look. Is that what you're seeing? I couldn't get, I couldn't soak these ones off yet. <laughs> That's the only one we're seeing then. <laughs> I never have my nails done ever because I do nails, so there's no point. And I actually did them the other day and I ended up getting, I don't even know why, I got anxiety and then I like took them all off and the thumbs stayed, so. But if you like the blue. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's honestly, that's all I'm seeing though. So if you hadn't pointed it out, I'd never known. <laughs> it's totally oh. meant The life okay. of a nail tech, right? I think that's how it always is, isn't it? I know. Like usually the hairstylists are always like worrying about everybody else and about themselves. The makeup, mm -hmm. artists, makeup artists very rarely are like actually wearing makeup yep. at their bridals or their events. I know. I don't know about you, Jax, but when I get up at like 4.30 in the morning, I'm not thinking about my face. <laughs> so we're always the worst pampering ourselves, isn't that right? Um, I mean, Ivy does. All right, Ivy, you can, you can rock it for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, so next we're actually going to the 10 years younger setting spray. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. right. I know, I'm like, oh, okay. I'll go with it, I'll go with it. I was yeah. getting excited to do my lashes, man. Well, maybe, and so this is a thought, because I know people do it both ways. I know people use the setting spray and then do their mascara. That's I true. do everything first, personally. I think you do too, Janine. I do, depending. If it's okay. my brides, I do, like, the foundation, and then I do the, the setting spray and let it set. Agreed. And then I build the color, like, you blow, your bronzer, your contour, and then I set and leave it, and then finish the rest of the makeup, and then I finish with 10 years younger again for my brides and things like that. So I find Absolutely. that works really, really well. For myself, yeah. I just kind of spritz and out the door. You're right. It's really great to set in layers and you can even spray some of it on your brush when you're applying mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Kind of give them lasting power. That's a great tip to, to do it in layers for sure, especially if you're looking for that staying power throughout the day. So and let's you talk about it younger. No, no, go ahead. If you're using airbrush, if you are a makeup artist, you use an airbrush. I like to dilute my custom blend, the mm. bases with the, the 10 years younger also. So like That's dilute it down to with a setting spray so that it lasts. All right. So if you want to go ahead and do your setting spray in yep. the fashion, the way you spritz it. Yeah. I like a to do a cross and then I like to do a diagonal cross. So Perfect. So kind of like an X and then a T or a T and then an X. Yeah. And Perfect. Just and that's one set. set. So yep. if you want it to be super waterproof, then you can do that set two mm -hmm. more times. So a total of three. So let's yep. just talk a little bit about it. Um, just like Janine said, it can be used in place of water for eyeshadow, liner, and airbrushing. Uh, it sets your makeup to last all day with fewer required touch-ups. And it helps reduce makeup slippage into pores, lines, and wrinkles. We've had some really, really great results with this product. For me personally, I was in Greensboro, North Carolina in August. I don't know if you know much about Greensboro, North Carolina in August, but it is super Amazing. hot, and humid, and muggy. And when this product was first launched, I was like, yeah, okay. I've tried some makeup setting sprays, and they smelled really nice, but they never really did anything. Yeah. So... I walked into the conference and they were spraying it on people doing a demo. So I was like, sure, it's 8 a.m., spray my face. So they sprayed my face. Had all day at a conference, so now it's about 6 p.m. We go out for dinner with um, I, on the people in my organization at that point were like a lot of guys. Janine, I needed you. I needed I you at the time. We were hiding at that it was, time. It was me and Ben. So... <laughs> After dinner, they decided it'd be a great idea. Let's go to Hooters and watch the UFC fight. And I'm like, sure. So then we go to Hooters and watch the UFC fight. So now all of a sudden, it's like 1 a.m. So 1 a.m., they're looking to go back to the host hotel to the bar. And I'm like, no, Malika needs to go to bed because my bedtime is like 10 o'clock. <laughs> So Grandma Maleva goes back to the hotel, 
it's probably like around 1.30 in the morning, I looked at my makeup and I did a double take. I could not believe how fresh my face looked with this setting spray. It has six different hydrators in there to help makeup look and feel great throughout the entire day. And Cleo asks, is it great for video? I think it's this product she's asking about. Or does it shine a little bit? This product is incredible for video. I love, love, love using this product. It does not make you look shiny or greasy. What do you think, Janine? I love it. I, I can't live without it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Even like if, if I had you to choose toilet paper or setting spray right now, I'd choose setting spray. <laughs> That's how much I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna sell out because everybody's gonna be running for yeah, the discover. <laughs> Here's it's another fun trick. But no, I really love it. Trick it, is a, it is a necessity in my kit. Um, I actually did a wedding a couple of years ago in Jamaica. I was very lucky to go to Jamaica. Um, Jacqueline knows it was my our our friend Amy, and I did her makeup for the wedding, and um, it, it and it was so hot. It was. I think it was April time. I think she got okay. married. It was so hot, and um, her makeup lasted all day. And then the next day, she came down with her uh, new husband, and she still had a full face of makeup on. And I was like, <laughs> "You still have your makeup on?" And she's like, "Yup." Um, she said, "I slept like this, but it's still on." I could not believe it. Just with the heat. I mean, I know our products are good, and I know the setting spray always lasts on my brides but with the heat and the and everything i was thinking you know but yeah it was like full face and makeup she's like i have trashed the dress pictures today so i wanted a full face and makeup I'm like well you could have just asked me to do your makeup again i would have done it you're my friend you know and she's like oh no <laughs> so that's yeah. hilarious yeah I, it was oh, we, have some, we have some comments saying um Shirley from Singapore, she used it for 12 hours, and even in the tropical humidity of Singapore, her makeup lasted mm -hmm. all day. Mm -hmm. um, I know we also had a partner in Africa that was using the product for several weeks, and her skin looked flawless the entire time. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another tip, too, from Jax. If you use too much powder, you can use the setting spray to kind of help even that out. Oh, that's a good so tip. Use it for 10 years younger. Khadija said she got caught in the rain about two years ago and her makeup did not move. Amazing. I love it. Keep these tests. That's why we need it in the UK. Seriously. Okay. It be everywhere. Everywhere in the world. Yeah, I do use it for that too. I use it for my shadows too, Lee. And the uh, little black dress I like to use it with. Absolutely. And so another thing is that it has some really great cooling technology. Not like, ooh, my face is cold, but it kind of flash freezes the makeup on your face for mm -hmm. up to six hours. So fun tip that I use it is for people, especially on camera, and my men, if they tend to like get dewy or sweat a lot under the lights, I'll spritz some on the back of their neck and get cools them down so I get longer use out of their face on camera. So that's another thought too, especially if you get hot throughout the day or still tend to get a little dewy, shiny, sweaty. Mm -hmm. You can spritz some on the back of your neck for that cooling technology and that kind of helps bring your temperature down to help your makeup or you last longer without having to blot as much. Um, yep. So that's my fun tip with the 10 years younger. Okay, let's move on to foundation brush. Okay. So even though the foundation brush isn't a color or a cosmetic, it's really important to have wonderful tools. And so yeah. this foundation brush, Absolutely. and if you ever want to do a demo on yourself, what you can do is like take your fingers and take a mirror and apply foundation with your fingers. Then take like one of those cosmetic wedges like you could get from like a Dollar Tree or something and take a yeah. little bit of that and stripe that on the mirror. And then finally take a foundation brush, put a little foundation on it and you can stripe that on the mirror and you're gonna see how smooth that application looks from fingers to sponge to brush. So it's a best seller. You can use it to apply any liquid or cream-based products. You actually use less product by using a brush which helps save you money and eliminates waste. Yeah. And it also helps with an even application and a more natural. How about Ten. you, Janine? What would you like to say? I, I, I always use a brush. It, I know a lot of people like the eggs, the sponge eggs. Mm -hmm. I like those too for certain skin, but I do look, I always use my foundation brush as well. Um, I fat, on myself, 
I don't even use a sponge on myself. Mm -hmm. So I do like the brush. Absolutely. And like you said, it's just, it saves on product. Um, and I just feel better than, you know, rubbing my fingers into my skin and, and whatnot. It's, it's just so much nicer to use and a much, much, much better smoother application. So I totally agree. And even for those that like to use the sponge, I mean, I use a beauty blender every so often. Um, you cannot do multiple people with one beauty blender. So if you're using a fresh beauty blender on someone, it's theirs. Like you cannot sanitize and use that on somebody else. So yeah. each person has their own beauty blender. But when I'm using it on myself, sometimes I might even use that to blend a little bit more afterwards if I'm trying to like apply multi layers of product. But honestly, that foundation brush is the way to go. I yeah. love it. I love it on myself and I love mm -hmm. it for life. I really yep. do. All right, are we ready to talk mascara? Yes, finally. Oh, break it out. Okay, I know I have the Fiber Lush with me right now because I just, it's just my favorite and I just cannot go from Fiber Lush. So I'm just telling you right now. This is my what favorite. This is my oh. top mascara and this is something that I cannot live without. I just, it's amazing. That's all I have to say about it. And that's mm -hmm. that. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. Um, this mascara sold out What within how many weeks was it, my labor? It was crazy when it first launched. It was so fast. Remember? And I think the second round sold it out too. It was crazy. So what I like to do is I really, this is a brand new one actually that I have. I really like to scrape. I don't like to use a lot, so I like to scrape some of it off when I first get it out there. And do you want to show off the way the brush tip looks? The yep. spoolie tip? See how it comes to like a nice fine tip? So it really helps get in there um, to all of your small mm -hmm. baby hairs, like in the inner corners of your Absolutely. eyes. Absolutely. So when you apply this, what you want to do, you want to get it close to, you, to the root as you can and kind of wiggle it up and wiggle. Mm -hmm. And this is buildable as well. So it's how you like to do your eyelashes. Before you do the other side, you'll have to come up real close so people can see the difference. I'm gonna scare you. <laughs> That's just weird, like one application. It looks like nice and fuller. Like it makes the lashes, lash line looks fuller, but then also helps with that length. So as she's applying, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how unique this product is. So remember at the very beginning when I talked about how motives were on trend, but we're not a fad. So a lot of times we'll sit back on fads to see if they're going to become trends and to see if there are any problems with the products that are on the market. One of the best stories I have about the, um, the integrity of this brand is this Fiber Lush Mascara. So Fiber Mascara had been out for quite a while, but there were a lot of problems with Fiber Mascara. One, it was usually multiple steps. Two, a lot of times the product was flaking and causing smudges and flakiness on the skin throughout the day. I experienced that myself with another brand. A lot of times it started looking a little spider lashy, so it was really clumpy, which is just kind of unattractive. <laughs> and then the other thing that was happening is that there were a lot of eye problems coming about and infections because a lot of those fiber mascaras on the market were made with fiber glass. So we sat back on this for almost a year and we finally found a manufacturer that would make a skincare found or a skincare mascara. They would use nylon fibers and they would put it in one formula like you see Janine one step using. That way you can get the thickness and the length without the clumpiness, without the fallout, without the eye problems, and it's a cosmeceutical. So we took all of the bad things out there, left them alone, and took the good thing about a fiber mascara was that length and drama people were looking for. So that is an incredible testament to the integrity of the company, is we will not launch something no matter how much someone or people are demanding it until we can find a manufacturer that makes it to our standards. It has to be skincare, um, and it has to be healthy for the skin. I love it. I oh, know, me too. Let's see what everybody's saying about our fiber mascara. A little does go a long way, it absolutely. Does. That's like why I really like to scrape the brush before I apply it. Um, absolutely, it does, it goes a long mm -hmm. way. 
Yep. And uh, AJ saying, wow, you really from afar can even see the difference when you're not even near the camera. Oh, good. I can never tell what you can see. Like, it's always different when you're looking yourself into the camera. It's totally hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent. Um, <laughs> all right. That was one chat thread. Let me just check the Q&A section. What's left spin? Uh, we have a question about the lifespan of eyeshadow. So honestly, I mean, powders, as long as you're sanitizing them regularly and you're using them on the cells, powders can last a really long time. Like, I don't like to give an expiration. I think they say like a year, but I've had powders a really long time just because, I mean, they're, they're fine. The integrity of the product is great. If you're using a cream, creams usually are within three months. So yeah. If you your eye base or your cream eyeshadow, it should be within that three month span. What do you think, Janine? Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Yeah, as long as you're, I mean, it's uh, being so clean and sanitary is so important. So as long as, especially when working on clients regularly, okay. you need to do that uh, all the time. Like mm -hmm. every single step while you're even working on that client. Um, but if it's just, you know, your regular makeup, that is just for you, it's your personal kit. I think we're, we're good to go with that, right? Absolutely. Another question um, from Yvonne asks, what about oily skin for the setting sprays? Oh my gosh, yeah. Do you use 10 years younger too? I do. I use, I do use no more shine. Um, if they have really oily skin, when I'm layering the, when I told you I do the three step where I do the foundation set, um, blush bronzer set, and then the complete look set, I'll use no shine for the first two sets and then 10 years younger on the top. Yep. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. I totally concur because I do it the exact same yeah. way. Oh, probably got yep. it from you. <laughs> no, from oily skin. I love that too because you get the best of both worlds. Yeah. More shine, but I don't finish the last step with anything other than 10 years younger. Yeah, me too. Um, and then Leslie, this is a great question for you, Janine, because oh. you just applied it. How do you keep the mascara from clumping even with just one application? Um, I think it's the motion of going back and forth as you wiggle it up instead of just going and doing long um, swipe ups. I kind of mm -hmm. like make sure I'm separating each lash as I go up. So every time I'm, I'm separating the lashes as I work them back and forth almost, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's the wiggle. <laughs> and, and now and again, I will get one that's a little bit more clumpy and I just go through with a, either the comb or the, um, my comb or my spoolie. Perfect. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Like wiggle or, um, or, and like she had showed, she removes that excess. A lot of times if we use too mm -hmm, much product, that's important. Does, and that brush does pull a lot of product. So feel free to like really wipe it good and then and use the wiggle. And I haven't I, had an issue. I find with the fibrous when you're working on clients, it's really hard because obviously you don't want to contaminate your products when you're working on clients. So you don't want to use the same brush. Right on the client. So what I began to do, cause I, I found that the brush is everything when working with fiber lush, it's not the same as using a spoolie. Um, every time I, uh, renew my fiber lush, I actually remove the brush, um, from the, the old packaging and I cleanse everything and I use them on clients. So I have like 15 of these like brushes now that I've kept so that I can use on a client and not put it back in the bottle. If, does that make sense? So that you're mm -hmm. not contaminating you your own spoolies with you, you, Yeah, but then I cleanse them after every client as well. I clean them and sanitize them almost like you would do with a spoolie mm -hmm. because I do feel you need the brush to use to get that full effect. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's what I do. And oh even my. I, so when I'm working on somebody else and, and I'm using a disposable, um, one little trick that I just works really well for me is I'll take a business card and lay yeah. that on their lash like line. And then I like to blend because that really lets me get to the fine, fine um, hairs, but also the, the lash line, which is really yep. great. And it allows me to swoop from like root to tip um, mm -hmm. to give me that length and that, that thickness without yep. the client kind of feeling like, whoa, I'm coming at your face. So yeah, I, yeah. Use, um, I use a business card for that too. So I mean, a lot of different tips. What's really neat is that yeah. you can learn new things from plenty of different people that have like different tips and different techniques on what they use. 
And um, with my bridal part, it's true. Well, I, I, I don't have issue with fiber lush um, smudging or not lasting. But with my brides, I do like to spray my spoolie then with 10 years younger and just mist it and kind of just dab on the bottom of the lash here like that. And I find that that's a good staying power as well. That's great. I love that. I know 10 years younger is so versatile, right? Mm -hmm. it fun, everything. Um, and then, oh, the other question was as far as expiration on mascara, you do want to replace that every quarter, even so every three months or even sooner if it starts to get dry or sometimes depending on how much usage you have, if it like for any reason has a funky smell to it, you definitely want to replace that. But the rule yeah. of thumb is for liquids and creams, especially mascara, because you're coming so close to your eye, uh, is every three months you want to replace yes. that. Okay, let me just check the chat thread right here. I know we have Jax and a few others that are helping people with their... I know, thanks, with their question, <laughs> which is amazing. Thank you. you. Love Jax. <laughs> um, you can, the question from Yen Yen was, can you apply the lash primer before? You absolutely can use a lash primer. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, another thought too from Ivy is said, if you're doing more luxury service, you can gift them as a mascara as part of their package and then you can use that mascara with the brush the day of. I usually would add it into the yeah. price though and, and they, they think that, so you're covering your cost, if you know what I mean. Yep. So if That's you're doing exactly that makeover, add the cost of the, the um, mascara into your service. I, I, that's a great idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Oh, a lot of the times too, I'll add the lip color in. They can choose whatever lip color, like the bride on the trial can, I add it into the price, but I always let them pick the lip color they want. And then I order them one for the day that they can keep with them for the, the day to retouch for photos and everything. Absolutely. No, I love that. I actually kind of down here, I can show it off because I have it is, um, I have bridal packages and so I have a silver mm -hmm. gold and platinum package of what I offer for my brides. And that's in addition to my service fee. And that's I've great. sold probably every seven out of 10 brides by one of these packages. Because what's wonderful for us as freelance professionals is if someone, if you just do makeup on someone, that's the last time you see them, that, yeah. that money isn't residual. But it becomes mm -hmm. residual when you can offer them products and services that are solution that they can keep coming back to you for. But please, there's a whole business behind this brand. Get back together with the person that invited you. If you're looking to add more revenue to your space, whether you're a freelance professional or you're just a makeup junkie, I mean, either way is great. You don't have to be a freelance professional to be very, very successful with this collection. So once again, feel free to get back to the person that invited you and you can kind of see the business behind the brand as well. Can you um, share that in the, in the group for them? I know we're getting a request on the bridal packages that you use. If you could share that with them a little bit. No, totally <laughs> I kidding. I will absolutely This share. is a backdrop, Jacqueline. <laughs> it's a backdrop. Yeah, I can absolutely post the, the image in the files tab. You'll just kind of have to correct the, if you want to use different products or obviously have my logo on it, but absolutely, I'd be happy to share that package. Okay, so are, are you ready for our last product? I'll, I'll text you where I got it from. Are you ready for our last product? Can you believe yes, it's the last I think one? I'm ready. This has been so much fun. We've been like powering through it. I can't believe this is <laughs> all it's almost over. Okay, so our last product is actually a lip shine from the Lala collection called Celeb. It is a beautiful, you can see it kind of light pink um, tone, but it's a beautiful color on every skin tone. It has really great staying power for a glass. So it's not tacky. And even if the color tends to wear off, I find that the high shine is still there, which is what we want from a lip gloss. And then it also isn't sticky or slick. Mm -mm, not at all. So tell us about this product. I've seen people like go around the room and have everybody try the gloss and it looks sensational on every single it person. Just is for, yeah, it looks good on any type of skin. It's um, beautiful on you right now. Yeah. I love it. This is, so all these products that you're seeing, like we're saying they're our top 10, but like this is, these are all in my personal makeup. Like I have my professional makeup kit that I use on my clients, but I also have my personal kit and every one of these products is in my kit. Mm -hmm. So that says a lot for the top 10 products, like the must-haves, like you should have them. They're amazing. Um, but this, um, I always have this in my kit. I love it for, especially summertime. <laughs> summertime, it's so nice when you you know, around the pool and you're just 
trying to keep your lips hydrated. Um, I love it for the beat. It's just a fun color, but it's not That's too much. Great. If you don't like too much color, I'm not, Malava, you can rock any color you want and you look fabulous. If I like go too crazy on color, like I feel like I look a little crazy. So it just <laughs> depends on how confident you are with the color. Um, this is Celeb. And it just gives like a nice, like pinky, like rosiness to your lips, like a healthy glow. Um, yeah. and I love it. It's so nice. It's just very natural. It's an everyday color. Um, and you can always pop it over if you have your favorite lipstick too, and you just want to switch it up, you can always just do a little, um, thing cut over the color that you love to wear as well. And it'll just give you that little pop of shine. Absolutely. I love that. I'm just checking the chat mm -hmm. right here. We have questions. Oh, Ivy just got the new lip glosses. The new high shine glasses. I'm so excited. Mm, I'm so excited. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I mean, I don't see why not. Should we try it? The blush? Is that I what you're looking at? Pinch, could you use it as a blush? I guess it Give would. Give it a shot. Yeah, I guess I'm pale, so let's see. I have used our Lip Illusion lip gloss. I've used that as... Um, like a wet highlight. So I don't see why not, just depending on how. Um, I don't think it shows. I, it I think, I don't know. It looks I a little. Just, it's a little shiny. Sorry. Right. Excuse me. And it, there's not a lot of pigment there. And I feel if you would build it, it's going to be wet. Do you know what I mean? Thanks for trying. That was a great one. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? Totally yeah. Blush. I mean, I have in a pinch used like certain lip colors and stuff when I forgot my blushes and everything. Um, I have done that before. Mm -hmm. And we have some amazing cream products launching that are great for your lips. Mm -hmm. That actually have launched. What am I talking about? I'm, still, I'm waiting for them to arrive. I'm very excited. Um, okay, really quickly, there we, I kind of like to talk about how beauty does start from the inside out because our gut detoxes through our skin and obviously skin kind of dictates the way makeup looks. So even though we talk, talked about the top 10 beauty must-haves that every woman should have in their beauty arsenal, I do just want to take a moment and talk about, especially if you have the collection, a couple health and wellness products to draw your attention to when it comes to beauty. The one that we have is called our Isotonics OPC3 Beauty Blend. You can see it behind me here. I have the Beauty Blend and the Apple. It supports a healthy complexion. It supports a smooth, soft, and even toned complexion. So this we're talking about now is going into the gut and talking about internal beauty supplements. It promotes healthy functioning of the skin at the cellular level, which results in healthy, vibrant looking skin. It helps maintain healthy collagen production, something we all want, yes. Helps maintain skin elasticity and moisture. And it also helps maintain healthy hair, skin, and nails. It does have biotin and hyaluronic acid, as well as an incredible blend of antioxidants. It is a powder form that when you mix with a specific amount of water, you drink it like a shot on an empty stomach. It, it actually becomes 90 to 95% bioavailable, what your body needs within five to 10 minutes. So talking about a beauty supplement that you can really feel, this mm -hmm. is an incredible one. It's called our OPC Beauty Blend. Yep. Anything to say about that one? I love, I love the, uh, the beauty blend and I really do see a difference in my skin when I take it. Um, I remember when I went through that really crazy, um, spurt with my skin Yeah. Uh -huh. and I started taking it and it really, really helped my skin. It did take a couple of weeks cause it's really got to like get into your system and, and kind of flush all the toxins and things out, but it really does work guys. Your, your skin will thank you for it. And this is the one I do have it in my platinum package because just like mm -hmm. that, Jack said, it's really important for skin prep, especially on brides that are stressed yeah. out. They're not drinking enough water, probably not eating right, not sleeping. Mm -hmm. It's really stressed skin. So this yeah. is an incredible product for anyone dealing with any skin issues. But also that hyaluronic acid is really great for like bone and joint health as well. Yeah. So um, that is incredible. It tastes delicious. It's like a sweet tart. Right? Like yeah, a very it, it is. I like it. Mm -hmm. Tastes like really, it. really yummy. So then another supplement that we have is called Ultimate Aloe. We do have it mm -hmm. in a powder, a gel, and a juice form. 
Uh, our favorite, well, mine is at least strawberry kiwi. Today in my water bottle, I was drinking um, some of the crayon apple, but I do really like the strawberry kiwi. It promotes digestive comfort, supports a strong immune system, which is really, really important in this time specifically. And it also promotes uh, normal healing. So I like to say it's great from your mouth. To mm -hmm. <laughs> yum, yum. Yeah, and it's, it's delicious. And actually we have a beauty blend mocktail where we mix a cap full of the beauty blends with the strawberry kiwi aloe. And you can mix that with two ounces of water or sparkling water or champagne or vodka. And you can put that in a champagne flute and that's really fun for people to sip, especially once again, talking about bridal or anything else. It's a really yummy product. I mm -hmm. drink it every day. So that's our ultimate aloe. It's also really great for like, even if you burn your mouth on a hot piece of pizza, or when you're speaking, I like to drink it or gargle with it and just helps with your throat and your voice. Um, okay. And then finally, one product that maybe we don't need right now in uh, quarantine, but we do when we get back to the outside world is called Mocha Tonics. The one in our packet is cappuccino flavor. It does come in three flavors in mocha, cappuccino, and vanilla. It is a powder supplement that has Advantra Z in it, so it helps burn fat. It promotes really sharp mental focus and clarity. It helps heighten energy and endurance for up to 12 to 16 hours. And it also helps support weight loss and weight control. Um, I love this product. I like to mix it either in like hot almond milk, you can do hot water, or you can put it in a smoothie, you can put it in a protein shake. I like to put it in my coffee because I am a weirdo. Um, or the vanilla flavor is really, really great in hot tea. And I love it for that energy, that mental focus, but like, like we talked about that kind of um, adventurous -y for the fat burning as well. What's your experience with mocha tonics? A little goes a long way with mocha tonics for me. <laughs> yeah. Don't use it. I mean, if you're a little like me, don't use a full scoop because you'll be bouncing off the walls for like a week. And don't use it past 3 p.m. <laughs> don't use it past 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It is a really I love incredible it. product. And what I like too is when I'm really trying to focus on being healthy too and I get that sweet, I just get that craving where I want something chocolatey. It takes the edge off that. If you have like a that in your coffee or if you just, you know, mix it up with a little bit of milk, like chocolate milk, sometimes I do it like a kid. But um, yeah. it just takes that sweetness away, that craving, which I love as well. Absolutely. And the strawberry kiwi is the same for me. The aloe, I'll just yeah. say strawberry kiwi and that kind of helps curb the sweet tooth but the other thing is think of a time that's really hard um is come winter time when they have all of those really fancy coffee drinks and mm -hmm. you want to have like the peppermint and the mocha and all of these different things well yeah we have that product in a healthy form where i actually like to mix those same kind of coffees take like peppermint extract with our mocha tonics in like hot almond milk um mm. and put like a little whipped cream on top with cinnamon such a delicious holiday drink. So you don't have to Ooh. feel guilty about those super fancy holiday drinks anymore. Really great product. And once again, add them to your smoothies, protein shakes. You can do that as well. Right. Oh, that sounds good. Awesome. Well, all of these products are available now. So please, once again, get back together with the person that invited you. Show them your list and talk about what's a priority for you and they can get those products ordered for you. If you happen to trip across this webinar and you don't have someone that invited you, you can find all of these on the Motives by Lauren writing our Facebook page. They've created a special link for you to be able to shop. So we want to thank you all so much for joining us. It's feeling like we have purpose in talking to others right now when we're stuck in our house. Um, Janine, is there anything that you'd like to say to kind of help wrap us up? Thank you for joining us. Um, thank you for giving me a reason to do my hair and makeup. <laughs> Same. because I'm telling you I'm in a mum bum every day right now but it's been fun and I'm glad everybody took the time to come on um but yeah that's about it really awesome well thank you all so much for joining us um stay tuned the recording will be posted if you need to take a look at it again and feel free to share this with your customers with your prospects and this can help really um help them select the products that are best for them so thank you all so much for tuning in and you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye, guys.
Stay and be safe sure and to home. tune in next week because we'll be doing a Blend Your Beauty event. Ooh. So be sure to register because we're going to actually draw two names from those that registered and they're going to get a free blend. <gasps> That's exciting. That's amazing. You all need to register right now. <laughs> I'm registering. All right. Have a good awesome. night, everybody. Thank you, guys. Bye, everyone. Stay safe. Good night. Night.